when we um, purchased the practice, it was a complete analog practice. Um, however, we believe that technology is a vehicle, a very important vehicle to uh, be able to provide your patients uh, the best care um, possible. And complete health industry actually symbolizes also to uh, use these vehicles, to these means of diagnostics, uh, for instance. 2006, then our first machine, a 2D um, X-ray machine in the United States. And it was phenomenal. We also then implemented sensors and the digital age was basically knocking at the door. We opened, we actually implemented also other digital technology, uh, for instance, um, the CEREC system. The, um, the switch to a 3D system came because um, of more education. We were trained in, to look at um, the patient in a complete way, and that includes also the airway, that includes jaw joints, that includes not just the teeth, but also the surrounding bone. Um, implant dentistry has become a wonderful addition to uh, my practice, my journey. And over time, you understand that uh, you need to look out for improvements of technology. And when I noticed that um, there's a better product available and, for instance, has less radiation exposure for my patients, I was very keen to learn more about that. And the Axios is exactly that. When I compare the um, image quality with the uh, Galileos and the Axios, a huge improvement. I actually have to tell you that just recently and, uh, our IT person um, came into the office. We had a, a little computer problem. Uh, but when we um, showed him the 2D and 3D imaging that was rendered with the Axios and the Sedexis program, he made a comment that actually made me kind of like chuckle. He said he's never seen a clearer image and he's gone through all offices uh, in our area to um, the dominantly digital specialty offices, uh, dental offices in our area. So that was actually um, quite nice to hear. Um, knowing um, the computer technology and the CBCT technology for several years now, uh, for me the learning curve was um, not even measurable. It was almost like uh, they make it now too easy um, to handle the machine. And the technology is um, becoming so user-friendly and so patient-friendly. And we have to say that uh, the Dance by Sorona uh, representative uh, for imaging, she has uh, provided us with a terrific start program where she actually comes into the office and makes um, a great overview, an introduction into the machine. And then we, of course, um, learn a lot about positioning of the patient. What the assistants uh, rave about mostly is that the positioning um, helper, there is a positioning, patient positioning assistance that makes it very reproducible, that makes it very easy, very comfortable, and very fast to position a patient on the right. That was really uh, interesting. We used the uh, machine the first day when we had it. There was no um, waiting for, um, are, are we gonna master this now or not? And yeah, let me talk about that workflow a little bit because this is uh, where we probably have uh, a different approach, um, but I think it's an approach where patients are being um, made aware of the difference between our technology office and maybe the one next door. Our workflow um, is number one. The patient comes into our lobby, our waiting area, because we are limited in space. We are a small office. We have no other place than uh, putting the Axios into our lobby. And I was wondering how that is going to uh, come across with the patient. And a lot of patients made comments, and they were actually mostly positive. I find it's a very aesthetic, it's very beautiful look. It also has some features that you can see on their website, on the Dance by Savona website, where it actually produces some LED ambient lighting. So you can have today pink, tomorrow green, whatever you want. You can have all the colors of the rainbow. The patient will, if it is a new patient, will come into our office and join us for um, a brief interview. We will then offer them to have a CVCT taken as part of their initial examination. And that is the biggest wow factor for the patient. They've never 
seen any technology like that. Exposure with the CBCT is also a great vehicle, just to mention that, um, for forensic reasons. There is no better way to image the patient with uh, x-rays than having a complete um, anatomical rendering of their skull. Among other um, parts of our workflow, uh, we have definitely patients coming in very specific with questions regarding their jaw joints. We offer our patients um, treatment for jaw joint problems. We also help to treat airway issues. And the CBCT is the only machine that can actually help you to help diagnosing the physicians what the underlying issue could be. Regarding implant dentistry, um, which I picked up again, having an uh, integrated system like the Axios, um, speaking with my um, computer software on the fabrication side and the rendering of the images and bringing intraoral scans uh, together was just mind blowing. I have never felt so confident before placing implants in the posterior mandible where we all know what is lurking there underneath the gums and uh, inside the bone, a very important nerve that nobody wants to touch, not even come close to it. I was um, definitely scared to do this procedure, placing implants um, close to anatomical structures without the CBCT. That's why I never did it. However, the implant industry that I'm performing is to 99% now guided. Everything goes into a workflow where the patient comes in, we take a CBCT, we take an intro all scan, merge that in, in the software. It can be done in, um, in CCAT, that's a specific uh, implant software that we have that can be done in the Galileo's software. It is um, possible actually that I um, take a CBCT and send it out to an implant um, planning software. These all um, accept uh, the CBCT, the DICOM um, digital files, and you can provide that workflow also outside the office. However, we mostly produce our surgical guides inside the office. Renders, the image quality um, that the Axios renders uh, compared to other systems is phenomenal. So I have no doubt whether um, the sinus floor is somewhere close to my um, osteotomy or the nerve, any types of um, vital structure is close to where I would like to place my implant. The rendering is so complete that I can measure how much bone crafting I actually would have to provide for the patient so that I can tell my assistant what type of membrane, how big the membrane should be, and what the bone crafting um, amount uh, should be provided for the patient. Um, there has been days when um, the patient who is not sedated in my office, but with local anesthetic provided, leaves the office and said, was that implant done? Can you show me proof that you have done the implant? Because this was compared to other approaches in their previous experience, a completely different, harmless, very comfortable experience. I would never go back to um, any other system. Um, Axios and what a big improvement is compared to the Galileos, for instance, is that we have not only the 3D rendering available, but also a 2D. Why would that be of concern? Well, we have some patients that are not able to accept intro all imaging with the sensors that we have in the office because of anatomic structure like tori or exostosis. Some people just really have a bad gag reflex. Having that um, system in a 2D mode provides you with a phenomenal sharp image of, for instance, extra all bite wings. The other as aspect of the uh, Axios um, is CEREC. And at that time, it was um, based and provided by Serona. Aspects of digital dentistry with Serona was then with the CEREC system. And the CEREC system 
combines or I would maybe say is one big piece of puzzle coming into restorative dentistry and also surgical dentistry. I mentioned before that I really like to do implants now because it's straightforward when you have a great imaging system that shows you all the structures and when you have the detail of the interall uh, scanning, it all combines, it all merges in the software and it provides you then with the phenomenal workflow that I mentioned before. Now, we talked about implant dentistry and the time that I'm spending now for implant um, planning, for implant surgery has shrunk, made me more productive, made me also more available for other tasks. Having the Exeos, having the CEREC, it provides you with a numerous um, op opportunities to treat the patient with airway appliances. I just want to mention one workflow. When you take a CBCT of the patient, you take an intro oral scan of the patient, you can actually dial in position of the lower jaw so that the patient would be placed in a therapeutic position to render a intro oral appliance for obstructive sleep appliance. We actually measure the success afterwards. How can we do that? Well, we see actually if the patient's airway has changed. Each part of the puzzle works to its best and fullest and the outcome for the provider and even more important for the patient is superb and reproducible. So this is the standard that I like to offer my services to our patients, the highest level. Let's look into the future a little bit. What we're doing right now is just the start of possibilities. There was a, an infection at the root tip. However, there was no nerve canal visible and the patient um, is on medication. So the patient has um, specific medical conditions that we could not extract the tooth just to place an implant. This patient could not be treated like that with an extraction and an implant. However, um, the rendering of the x-rays showed that there was no root canal treatment possible, no root canal treatment possible in a traditional way. However, I've learned um, being exposed to digital dentistry that like an implant and very comparable to an implant dentistry dental procedure, you can use the root canal instruments in a guided way. So there is no root canal visible, however the technology can render you a way and provide you with a way to do a guided root canal treatment. Now the patient was treated with this method and the patient could save the tooth. The patient did not have to go through a surgery and extraction using um, the axios in our office for orthodontic reasons. We just experienced a huge influx of patients demanding that we render ortho and provide orthodontic treatment. There is numerous applications that you can provide for our patients. However, you're only as good as your diagnostics. So we feel for a great foundation for your orthodontic treatment, a CBCT rendering, not only of the teeth of the bone, but also of the jaw joints is a standard in our practice.